Okay, so let's see. Let's see. 128 gigabyte. Is that NGFF? Okay, I guess I'll go with this 128 gigabyte NVMe. Right. Okay. Uh, what else? It's two terabyte drives. 500 gig. One terabyte. Uh, yeah, I'll go three terabyte. Right. Uh, okay, so now I can start building this computer. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great 2022. Before I start the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for a free day of good luck. All right, let's get to it. Okay, before I start building, I'll quickly talk about these prices for the parts I am using for today's build. So for the case, I'm using this Entech NX410 white edition case, which has a hinge side panel, it's magnetic, right? It has a 120 mil ARGB fan in the back and two 140 mil ARGB fans in the front. They can all be controlled by this button right here. And I also installed a extra fan on the top for extra exhaust. So I was able to get this for $85 brand new from Amazon a while ago. Right now, if you want to buy it, it's going for $100 after tax. And for the CPU cooler, I got this on AliExpress for $18. It's a white RGB fan. Unfortunately, I can't control the RGB, but it looks really nice and it has a lot of heat pipes. So it should be able to cool the CPU down. Okay. So for the CPU, I got this Ryzen 7 2700 off Facebook Marketplace for $150. Brand new, retail, this should go for $213 if you buy it from AliExpress. And for the motherboard, I was able to get this on Black Friday sale for $85 after using my $5 coupon. Uh, with a quick search right now, it's at $109, which means after tax, it's going to cost around $122. Okay, and for the power supply, I scrapped this from another build I bought off Facebook Marketplace. And so I'm going to count it as $30. So with a quick search on eBay, this go for $60 which means I got this power supply for like half off, which is pretty good. The 750 watt and Crosshair makes really good power supplies. Even though this is a pretty old one, it can still be used for a very long time. Okay, All right for the drives, I showed in the intro. So this is a 128 gigabyte NVMe, which uh, I got this for $25 off AliExpress. You could find them pretty easily on AliExpress for 25 bucks. And for this, this three terabyte hard drive, I was able to get it for $20. It's pretty insane because brand new, these will go for like $100 after tax when it's on sale. Yeah, it's a lot of storage for only $20, pretty good. And for the RAM, I was able to get this kit of XPG RGB RAM clocked at 3200 MHz clocked at CL16 for only $70. On a quick search on Amazon, it shows that these brand new go for $100 after tax when it's on sale. It'll look really nice with the white case because it's also RGB. Right now for the graphics card. Now I posted a short on my YouTube channel before I uploaded this video, which told you guys that I got this for an insane price of $320. But it's still pretty good, especially when it's a ROG card too. And this part lights up, which is pretty nice. And this graphics card is still pretty insane in 2021 actually. It's like the same level as a GTX 1070. With a quick search on eBay, it shows that people are trying to sell it for $400 to $500. Which is like absurd because even though the GPU market is like messed up right now, this should only go for at most. $350. So in total, what I paid was $803. And if you buy these from online and brand new, it will cost you $1,101, which means I got a $300 discount, which is pretty good. So I'll be selling this for like 
960 to $1,000. Still make a little bit of profit. Now with all the parts explained, let's get to the build. Just really quickly before I clean the card, let me just show you guys what, what this card, why this card needs to clean. Okay, just wait for it to load. Okay, hey, look at this, look at this. You see how this rises all the way to 83 degrees in a second. I didn't even start benchmarking, it already just raised, rise to 83 Celsius. Which is not normal. So I'm gonna open the card up and try to clean it. And hopefully this changes and like doesn't just go to the maximum temperature. Disco. Now with the graphics card temperature fixed, let's cue the B-Row.
hope you guys enjoyed the first build of 2022 from this channel. If you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, still give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it will help me out a lot. With all that being said, have a great 2022.